So what I want you to do is to pay attention to how we view these. Recognize that these will always be viewed through a bond. So let's say this is my eye. That's my eyebrow. These are my eyelashes. So I'm, view <laughs> I'm viewing through the C1, C2 bond. That uh, confirmation, that projection is going to be different than if I were to view from, let's say, C2, C3. And so let's take a moment to see how that would be different. So if I were to view this for uh, a C1, C2, let's write that C1, C2 bond. Um, you're viewing from here. So let's take a moment to see what we see. We have a hydrogen we have another hydrogen and the third hydrogen because it's supposed to be a methyl group. On the back carbon, I have two hydrogens and the third one is pretty much an ethyl group. So if you were to come up with the uh, Newman projection, like I said in class, the front carbon is going to be the small dot and the back carbon is going to be the bigger circle. On the front one, which is the C1, I have three hydrogen atoms. On the back one, which is the C2, I have two hydrogens and one ethyl group because that's the C3 and the C4. So I'm going to draw it just like that. So I'm viewing through C1, C2. Notice three and four comprise of that ethyl group and everything else is hydrogen. Hopefully you can see that this is nothing but the staggered conformation. Because like I said in class, between two groups, you're see seeing a third group uh, from the back. And so this is a staggered conformation. If you wanted to look at the eclipsed conformation, all you got to do is give it a rotation by 60 degrees. So you would see the front carbon, which will have the three hydrogens. And on the back, you would have a hydrogen and ethyl and another hydrogen. So this is what you're going to see, uh, see essentially from the perspective of a C1, C2 bond um, for butane, but viewing through the very first bond. Let's take a quick look what it would be if it were uh, a C2, C3 bond. So recognize that irrespective of whether I go in this direction, you're going to see two hydrogens and a methyl, and the back carbon is also supposed to have two hydrogens, let's draw that out, and a methyl. And so we would be able to place these and come up with rotations to see um, what our possible energy conformations would be and what that energy profile should look like.